Hi guys, here's Riccardo Fasoli from Creative Wedding and I want to make this small YouTube video to tell you why I'm still using Colo Finale after that the Final Cut has everything inside. So you can grade without problem with using all the tools that the Final Cut offer you. The thing is that uh, I find that Colo Finale is much better and it's more professional tool for color grading and color correction in uh, Final Cut. I show you a little bit what I mean with this. So let's go in Final Cut. So here we are in Final Cut and nothing special. Here there are some clips. Uh, they are all in S-Log3, these clips. So if I want to grade it with the tools that um, uh, Final Cut offer me, I have to go on this icon here, the second one, and here I have uh, a selection of tools that I can use. Uh, there are all the tools that you need for uh, have a good color correction, color grading. So let's try to correct a little bit and, and make this image usable. I can begin here with this uh, color board and uh, only add a little bit of uh, contrast this way, maybe a little bit of saturation. Then I can go on the wheels and uh, maybe make it a little bit warmer. And um, I can go on the curves, but they are like this, the curves. I, I, I don't like them so much, how they are the curves here in Final Cut. But okay, let's add a little bit of S-curve. And uh, yeah, I find it that it's, it's okay like this. Maybe I can uh, change a little bit the green. Green and let's change it a little bit like this. Okay, we have done all this stuff here. So I find it okay. So I copy it and maybe I bring it into this shot. Here it is. We have this and this. Oh, this I find that it's a little bit too dark. Okay, then, uh, so where I can go, I go on the color board and double click on the color board, go to the exposure, on the exposure, bring it up a little bit. I wanted to change the temperature, make it a little bit colder, this one, or warmer. So I get to go here, go on the wheels, uh, and then from the temperature, change it here. So as you can see, there are a lot of steps uh, that I have to do before to get uh, uh, what I want. Then other things that Final Cut has, for example, is uh, if I want to add a loot. So I put away everything here and I want to add a loot. So I get to go on the panel browser here, uh, loot, custom loot. I bring it to the clip and from here, I get to open this menu where there are all the name of the loots and I have to know what, what I want. So this, uh, yeah, this is the pack uh, that uh, I've done now. It will be available next week. So for example, I want to use this one. Bam, this is the result, but I don't know how it looks. I have no idea how it looks. So. I can use it, it's good, you have a loot loader on Final Cut, but it's uh, what it is. So other things, the uh, sharpness, you want to add the sharpness, sharp, uh, here it is, I add it here, this is the sharpen of um, uh, Final Cut, take a look at the image if I add uh, the sharpness, what is doing? is adding contrast to the image. It's horrible, it's unusable really, the, the sharpness of uh, uh, Final Cut. Then, only to show you the difference of the workflow with Color Finale. 
Eccolo, finale. So, here I have colo finale on the clip. As you can see, first of all, I can make a correction of the image without opening any kind of window. It's everything here. So I want to add the contrast to the image, the exposure, the saturation, the temperature. I can do everything in one second and the clip it's already in one second one one window amazing then the sharpness here we have here the sharpness if I put it at 100% it add sharpness to the image so I would never put it at 100% but to make you understand that also at 100% the image is not adding contrast it add sharpness so that is already something amazing. Then other things that I can do everything here, I have the image analyzer that without doing any kind of mask of adding another uh, plugin or so, something, you can here, you can make an eclipse and here you have this uh, circle and it makes you understand where the color are following in the vector scope, uh, in the scopes that you have open and uh, if you want to correct the skin tone or something like this, with, you have it everything there. Then at the end here you have a film emulation that it's nothing else than grain. So you, you have a fantastic tool for adding a grain that you can custom make it how you want it, how you like it. So it's everything there. The, the, the first uh, color correction uh, tools that you, you can use, it's everything in one simple window. And it's, this is already one of the reasons. Then, if you want to do more, you want to make the color grading cool or something like this, uh, let's put away everything like this, we open only this one. For example, you want to see, you want a loot, you want to put a loot, uh, open here and you have a loot gallery. Here you can see, you can preview how the loot, they look uh, already on the image, on that frame. So I watch, I can see, I can watch it bigger, smaller, I can put more loot all together or this. Okay, I watch, oh, I like this one. Bam. And I have the loot applied. I can uh, change the opacity here. Okay, let's put away the loot. I have the curves. The curves they are bigger. You can make them bigger, smaller. You have much more space to do what you want to do. So if I want to add a nice contrast here to this image, here it is really beautiful and easy you have the vectors i want to change the look of the green here I go on the green and i can change it really fast the saturation the luminance of the green so in this case it's a little bit with the yellow so uh, saturation luminance and i can make it how i want it with already some selected color you can do everything so everything it's faster, easier, more beautiful. It's a, it's a better experience on color correction and color grading. You have a fantastic tool that offer you everything what you need for color correction and color grading in a professional way. You have the mask, so uh, let's put away everything. Here I can do a mask any kind of mask you can do it here and as you can see it's everything really fast really good and here you can add your mask you can uh, so here you have some controls uh, on screen this mask you can track it if you want you can track it you have a tracker here so only to make you understand how the uh, tracker is working, let's correct uh, faster this image uh, a little bit. Uh, and uh, I open 
here the I do a mask. I can go here back uh, and track it back uh, and here. Okay, here I tracked it. Let's take this and uh, let's uh, make it blue, like this, horrible. Can uh, make a little bit softer, like this. Here it is. And as you can see, it's everything tracked. This is something that Final Cut is not offer you. You have to K-frame every kind of frame to make a, um, to make a tracking of the mask. So this is another thing, but this kind of tool it gives you everything really. I'm using the for grade all my film 100% color finale too. So guys i don't know it's i know that uh, um i have some uh, message from guys that write me but uh, regard why you're using color finale that the uh, final cut is as everything that is all the reason why i'm still using uh color finale so guys i hope that this was useful to make you understand why i'm still using color finale if you want, we have the 10% of uh, uh, code if you are interested on getting this amazing plugin. And uh, that's it. Have a nice day. Ciao.